Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest has made a name for himself by selling one of our favorite treats, ice cream. <laughs> At eight years old, he told his family he wanted an ice cream cart for his birthday. He's since turned that into a major business, selling thousands of treats. And at age 15, he opened his own ice cream shop. Yay. Please welcome this inspiring little ice cream dude, Bo Shell, to the circle. Yay. Thank you so You're so Thank welcome. You. So you started at eight years old with this dream, I want an ice cream cart, but why did you choose ice cream? I chose ice cream mainly because I love ice cream. Yes. And especially me as a little eight year old, I've been eating ice cream ever since I was really in my mother's womb. <laughs> so, uh, I just definitely wanted to make a business out of it because I wanted to make my own money at eight. Cause yeah. there was a lot of things like, for me, at eight years old, I wanted to give to my school's missionary or mm -hmm. sometimes even buy my own toys because yeah. my parents don't always really have the money to really put towards toys at all the times. Yeah. And I also wanted to give to church offering and even help out my family. So yes. it was a very important thing. And I knew that since I loved ice cream that generally I made my own percentage. 99% of the world loves ice cream too. Yeah. So I mean, That's smart. I'll always be able to sell ice cream and I always have a product to sell. Yes. yes. All, All right. right. Yes. So let the people know that you are not just an ice cream cartier. <laughs> you have an ice cream empire. Yes. So ex explain your empire to the good people. So my empire is a very new and it's growing, but it's definitely a strong one, I believe, especially because I've built up most of what I had with the help of my parents and we've been able to try to buy everything we can, yes. especially with the uh, shop and what we bought. And so I think my ice cream empire is a very powerful one and it has a lot of potential. And yeah. so I'm trying my best to grow and get the, as much as I can yes. while I'm growing. Yeah, I'm gonna adopt you. I know, right? I don't have any sons, I'm gonna have him. So, Bo, you know, with every good thing, there's always some, there's some little challenges. Definitely. What are some mm. challenges that you face and overcome or continuing to overcome throughout this process? So, one of the big things for me, especially for my business, is trying to find funds mm. and doing my best to keep cash flow coming in into the business mm -hmm. while I'm growing. And so I've done that by many different ways. Uh, the biggest ways so far, I'd say, have been crowdfunding. Oh, and I nice. think it's big, not only because I've been able to raise so much for my business and even for other opportunities and organizations, but because my community and people around have come to help me. Yeah. Yeah. Like, they come to help me in my time of need <laughs> yes. sometimes. And, and in my own, 2017 crowdfunding campaign, I raised 21,000, and that wasn't by me. Yeah. That was by many other different people yeah. who believed in me. Yes. Oh, so yes. I say the shop is not only my shop, it's, but I also say it's the communities and other people's shops. Oh, I love it. Come I on, bro. I love it. I mean, but. Yeah. You know, you're so well versed and you are a businessman, but you are still a teenager. You're 15 mm. years old. Mm. So, how do you balance being a businessman and still trying to be a teenager? And do you have a girlfriend? <laughs> Not yet. Okay. Yeah, not yet. <laughs> but uh, managing school and managing the business and other activities I do, I try my best to open, not open, but even open the shop sometimes too, but I try my best to schedule events after school for mobile, like when I'm going out to cater and appearing places. And I also, um, if I am to go during school, I try my best to go mm -hmm. and give an excuse and get an excuse. And they often give me excuses for when I go to like workshops and stuff because I'm still learning. Wow. It's more of a hands-on. So they're life. actually helping you yeah. in growing your business and being very understanding. Yes, ma'am. My I'm telling you, my whole community, even my school is very supportive. Yes. yes! But what do you do to have fun? So when I do have fun, I'm generally every other teenager. Like I'll as a boy, I'll play video games. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it, it's a great way um to really relax mm -hmm. and it doesn't put a lot of stress on me. And it gives me time to think and reflect sometimes as well. And it also, for the video games I play, it still gives me an entrepreneurial mind. Yeah. And it makes me more inspired in entrepreneurial and competitiveness and a lot of things like that. So. Right. I, love them so much. I know. I mean, obviously, you've accomplished so much. But what would you say is your greatest accomplishment so far in your long life? I'd say. <laughs> 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 I say the greatest accomplishment is when I'm able to make my own things or put my own spin on things that I've made with ice cream or do my own best and make my own kind of way. Because you know, a lot of people say, uh, even for me, that you'll be the next Bill Gates, so mm -hmm. you'll be the next, uh, 
Jeff Bezos mm -hmm. in the frack. Right. Or you be the oh, first right most chef. Oh, exactly. Yeah. How about that? I wanna, like, I want to okay. be the first me. I want to have my own specialty. I want to have my own. Oh, hey, that's what Bo Shell did. Exactly. Yes. 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 Uh, oh. <laughs> that's awesome. What's this in your lap? So this is my first children's book. It's a hardcover, oh, and that. it's been a long little road for my business, yes. uh, for my book as well, because I've had to become my own self-publisher. Me and my mom, she's definitely earned this with the help of his mom. Yes. So, oh, yes. She's definitely helped me. She's an educator, and she's been an educator for about 14 years, and she helped me out, and she yes. helped me. Because I wanted to make sure everyone could read this book, and I know my mom, she could put it into words and she could help me with vocabulary mm -hmm. that can help children learn too. Yeah. And so I definitely give a lot of credit to her and my dad because he gets me to places and he helps me, especially with my energy as well. Wow. So, uh, but this book, it's my first children's book. It talks about how I started my business and it also talks about how I've gone from different places and I also want to start a series of books. Um, I'm getting to it, but I definitely do want to get a series of books mm -hmm. um, with Cool World and kind of capture my story for everyone. Wow, yeah, I'm such an inspiration, such an inspiration. So I mean, there, I mean, I know that you've done so much, but what's next? Is there anything next? So, really, relatively features. So Come I'm on. still trying to open my uh, my shop and I'm trying to get it, you know, to the top notch or the top quality yeah. that I want because I know my shop has a lot of potential and there's a lot for my shop. And so, like one thing relatively new or that I'm trying to get is going to be a candy land, we call it. And yeah. so we have a little side of our shop that's been waiting. It's, it's saying, I want my time. And so we want to put some candy there and have our own little candy shop and kind of give a vintage candy or old school candy, as my mom says. Yeah. And so get those <laughs> old school, childhood right. favorites. And that's all. right. Get some Nihilators in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Bo. You, You're Bo. an inspiration Thank to so you. many people. Make sure you support Bo and his Lil Ice Cream Dude business. Follow him on Instagram at Lil Ice Cream Dude. Let's give it up for Bo Shell.